Look what happened. I immediately got this and reconcile new layers problem or issue. So, and if we go also on the layer palette, you can see that there is over here uh, a new group with some of my layers. And you can see that the new layer that we just created it, it's showing right there. So that's the whole idea or story about and reconcile layers. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two ways to handle this. Some people, they don't want to get this notice at all. They don't want to fix the reconcile layers either. They don't care. So what, what they would do is, uh, let me show you. They will use a system variable layer notify. Layer notify will right now, if we use it, it's 15. But if we set it, set it to zero, that will avoid this uh, notify uh, this notification for the unreconciled layers as well as these on the on your layer palette but that's not fixing the problem that's simply avoiding it hiding it so some people like to do this i i don't recommend it i prefer to fix this for good so that's why what this new custom command is going to help us do that. This command reconcile layers in your drawing. Simple like that, right? So with one single click on any drawing at any time, we can simply click on it and you can see your layers were reconciled. Boom, there is gone over here and there is no more notification error over here at your status bar. That's great. So now let's go and jump. How do we do this now that we understand what uh, this unreconciled layer means in AutoCAD? So the way we do it, there are many ways, but two ways that I'm going to show you is that we can create this tool or command by going to the command macros over here. If you're not seeing it, you can simply type command macros and that's the command to open the command macros palette so over here what we can do is simply right click on any of these commands and pick the command macro editor so once we do that we can rename add a description and change our macro code to create our new command the second option is there are many people that don't have these command macros because this is um, a new feature from uh, the newest versions of AutoCAD. So you still can create commands using your tool palettes. Everybody have a tool palette. So, so the tool palette, you can open it with control three if you don't see it on your ribbon. So it's not there. Control three will open your tool palettes. So on the tool palette, you can basically add anything to it uh, i'm going to add this text by left clicking on it and dragging it to the tool palette so once there you can simply right click on it and pick properties and you will have this the same options from your command macros palette where you can rename add a description and change your command macro code so for today's uh, presentation, I'm gonna use the command macros and you can do this in those two options. So I'm gonna do it over here with this. So what I'm gonna do is right click and use command macro editor. I'm gonna rename a command. I call it lazy lay rec layer reconcile. So here I'm gonna change my description. This command will reconcile here's your drawings something simple and then let's we can specify an image too over here for our new command if you wish uh, for now we're going to jump to the macro code that's the important part that we need to learn and the macro code that we're going to use is first we need to set up the balloon notification on time so for instance, you can have the balloon notification forever they're showing uh, on your status bar and we don't want that. So what we can do is utilize a system variable called tray out. So this system variable basically will uh, give us the options to 
show how many seconds we want our balloon notification to show up or to stay. So I'm gonna press enter with this semicolon and then I'm gonna say that I want five, five seconds for my balloon notification to stay on and then go away. So, and then I'm gonna accept that with another semicolon that represents an enter, right? So that's the first thing that we need to do in order for this command to work and simplify your life. Then let's jump to reconcile some of your layers, right? From the two palettes. So you can see that right now we're good. We don't have any problems uh, of unreconciled layers over here. And we don't have any notification at the bottom of our status bar because we already fixed that. But the way we can do it is by using the layer command or its shortcut also. But the command line version with this with this character over here, and then we're gonna say call for the layer command or the shortcut would be LA. So once we do that, we will have many different options. But first, we need to accept that with an enter, and we can use the E shortcut, and then we can say all. So in order to say all of the layers to make it reconcile, we can use this character, the asterisk, that is gonna help us with that. And then finally, we need to accept that with two uh, enters. So the last part of our code would be a way to let us know uh, that, hey, your layers were reconciled. How do we know that? So. That's why we need a way to know, physically see a message or a, an alert or something, right? So the last part, that's what it's gonna do. So let's use this parenthesis and inside, let me use the alert option and then use type whatever I want my alert to be. For instance, I want to keep this thing simple. so. I would say something like layers were reconciled, something simple. You don't need to make this as hard. And then finally, we can accept that with another enter or semicolon. So this is the code that we're gonna use and let's quickly test it to see if it works. If it doesn't, we can quickly uh, figure it out and fix it, right? So let's click okay to accept that and let's quickly test it. So in order to test it, I'm gonna open my xref, right? Open xref is right here. So once I go there, I'm gonna create another layer. So let's click that and let's say new layer two. So once we do that, simply we can save with control S and once we go to the drawing where our xref is and click the reload, we're gonna have this message. We need to fix our layers. That's a new layer number two over here. So let's quickly test our command. If you are aiming to save time, here are 10 essential tips and tricks to try out.